have a look in the trash cans for the weapons, for the food. Hunting knife, I'll take it. Got some chips, got bat. Good to go. I wish you could save the survivors at the start here. But no matter how much time you spend trying to clear shit out, zombies will just keep spawning. And the survivors will never try to save themselves, they'll just stand there. They're supposed to die. Oh my god, that guy's face! Do you see that? I want to zoom in on it. Ugh. Jesus! <laughs> okay. Got through unscathed. I remember playing through Resident Evil 6 once, and there was a dead guy on the ground who had, like, a very similar exaggerated expression like that. It's pretty fucking funny. Where are the others? I don't know. I hope they got away. I hope they got away as he just bumps into everyone and just pushes people out of the way. As long as those things are in the mall, we better not use this door. Uh, what are you doing? Rubbing my face up against this cold vent. Me. Wait a minute. I'm smart enough Where'd to use the ducks. What for? Watch and learn, Frank. Let a real man show you how to crawl through some ducks. Nice camera. Are you a photographer? As a matter of fact, I am. Frank West, photojournalist. Could you show me some pictures, Frank? The strap is missing. You really seem to know what you're doing. Who are you guys, anyway? And what are you? I took that one near the entrance. Did that guy do something? <laughs> Is that a bad dude? Thanks for showing me though. Uh hey, we're not done talking yet. Just who are you guys? I'm Jesse. The man you saw earlier is Brad. That's all I'm authorized to tell you. <laughs> Sorry, just taking a sip of my water. Um, I'll save. Save again, just in case. Never take a nap without your trusty bat. And with your eyes wide open. <clears throat> I feel refreshed now. You ain't planning on going back down into that mall, are ya? I wouldn't do that if I were you, but you young folk never listen to me. Well, if you're gonna go, at least take this transceiver with you. And you'd better take this map, too. You obtain the map and the transceiver. Let's 
is one of the most pointless cutscenes in the whole game. And out here we got the tutorial survivors. Didn't mean to drop that. Actually, yes I did. Spit on your face. Take a picture. Brutality. <laughs> Alright. Alright, now now I'll talk to you. Did he defect? Oh, okay. Have you seen my wife, Natalie? That'd be great, fella. My name's Jeff, by the way. I'm Frank. I'm a journalist. <laughs> Look, I found your wife that you put so much effort into finding. Maybe if you didn't wimp out like a little bitch on the other end of the roof, you would have found her earlier. But thanks for the free experience. Spit on you two. Alright, you two, you mind cutting your joyous reunion short? It's not safe here, but I know a place. I'll take you to the security room. Follow me. Follow me. Level up. Yeah. New skill mastered. Right. Yeah, celebrating with me. <laughs> See, Jeff knows who the... Who, who the boss is. Guy comes up and spits in my face. Definitely won't know he's mess he's not messing around. Definitely will know he's not messing around. <laughs> oh left left Natalie outside because she was too slow. <laughs> Climb that ledge at light speed though, Jesus. And we're level three. Yeah. I'll save again because I'm a compulsive saver. <laughs> I'd do it multiple times in a row if it didn't take so long. Oh, let's go kill some shit. So much walking around, so much cutscenes. I just want to play the game. Ding! But first, gotta get the best weapon in the game. <laughs> the mannequin arm! Wait, no. The leg's better. Because you, like, you thrust with it. I missed the call from Otis. Oh well. Yeah, the guy that give you the map will call you so much this game. Calls you at every waking moment, even if you're like fighting a boss or something. It's like one of people's biggest annoyances with this game. It's how much Otis calls you. Zombies, huh? I had a feeling you'd show up. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, I don't think they had zombie-infested malls in mind when they wrote those regulations, kid. You know how to use this? Kinda. I've covered wars, you know. He said the line. He said it. Look, after I'm through helping you, you and I are gonna have a nice little chat. <laughs> that leg. Holy shit. What do you want, Otis? Hey, it's Otis back at the security room. Let me give you a run out on the mall's layout so you know what you're doing. And if you hang up on him, he will just call you again and again and again. It's wonderful. And we're in the mall. Where all the magic happens. Oh, I meant to mention the lip the lip syncing in the cutscenes, it's like halfway between good and bad. Something I always appreciate in video games is how good the lip syncing is. And it's like it's such a small detail that I don't know, you just don't think about it. Until it's bad, and then it's blatantly obvious. I love how good the leg is at killing shit. I also love how the fat zombies have more health. Um... So we got our first quest, if you will. Going to find Brad. And if you've never played the game before, <laughs> the time left on a quest is indicated by the color it is and how big the progress bar, or how big the bar is. Blue means you have a lot of time, yellow, even less time, red, even less time. So you're free to fuck about a little bit. Actually, with this first quest, a lot of bit. I get something crazy, like... You have until, like, midnight... To save Brad. I get the Uzi. It's a pretty good gun. I put a ton of time into this game over the years, but something I never knew is that if you stand still and just press X, it'll auto-aim to their heads. I would have loved to know that so much, like, so long ago. It would have saved so much trouble in the first game, at least. Because it was so cumbersome to sit there and aim because you couldn't move. Kind of Resident Evil style, I guess. The older Resident Evils. Um, let's... Let's drop the leg. As good as it is. And we'll swap the knife for the katana. Chop, chop, chop. Fuck. Chop. Chop. Jupity chop. One of my favorite places in the whole game is this movie theater right here. I don't know why. I guess I just like the pretty colors. And the fact that they got some Mega Man stuff back here. <laughs> 